Hello everyone, this is Himanshu and uh, today I'm going to tell you about Array VLOOKUP. Uh, how to use Array VLOOKUP, what is the advantage of it? Uh, in order to know this, first of all we should understand that how VLOOKUP works. Now V stands for vertical and lookup you know very well. So if the data has been represented vertically like here, uh, we may apply a VLOOKUP function. Uh, let's understand the data first. Uh, here I've got the serial number, name. I don't have any detail about contacts, qualification, course and so on. I've got another data that is the, this is the compare data you can see and uh, another data I've got is the real data. So in this real data uh, I've got serial number, name, contacts, qualification, everything. So. Uh, first of all, have a look at this data here. The names are not in sequence like Bhagwan, Thiemant, Walia and here the names are not in sequence. Not only this, there is no surety that this particular name is there in the master data as well. So through VLOOKUP, we generally do two tasks. First task is that I am looking for whether this Bhagwan name is there in the master data or not. And the second thing that if Bhagwant is there in the master data, then what is the contact number of Bhagwant? So I am trying to establish two tasks. So let's start how to do that. I have started equal to VLOOKUP. In VLOOKUP, the first parameter is the lookup value. Now lookup value is the value which I am looking for in the master data. So definitely you should have the lookup value at least. Which, I've, uh, which I have that is name another thing very important aspect is that lookup value should be unique in nature you can use uh, like name you may use email id you can use contact number you can't use uh, sorry for the interruption you can't use like qualification you can't use um, location because a single qualification may have means plenty of candidates may have a, um, a one qualification that is let's say uh, there are 50 candidates who have done MCA so I can't look up anything on the basis of qualification or course or location yes the contacts are going to be unique or name and email IDs are going to be unique so I can use those things so uh, how to proceed further so lookup value I have given this particular cell which is containing name uh, comma then table array as a table array I need to give uh, I need to select the complete data the complete master data so I will go to real data uh, where I have got the complete detail uh, remember do not select the title don't select the serial number uh, because that is irrelevant select it from here and uh, I have made the complete selection full row and column and have a look at the formula bar here means this is the table array which I've selected which is uh, in the real data that's the file name that's the extension of the file this is the sheet name inquiry sheet and this is the range from B2 to G342 and there is a dollar sign in front of it which means the master data means the table array has been in the absolute uh, property means this is in the constant manner which is being compulsory now uh, after I have selected the table array put comma and then oh, sorry I am doing the selection of table array once again because ok and then column index number means this is the lookup value which is in the cell B2 I am looking for this value in this table array here and if I found that then what is the column index number which I want to extract from here to my that data uh, so I have not selected serial number so that's irrelevant this is one this is two so I want to extract the phone number which is in column number two so column index number is going to be two and range lookup uh, range lookup will give you two options first one is a true which is an approximate match second one is false which is an exact match so I am looking for an exact match is there any use of approximate match yes there is um, keep 
looking for uh, more uh, videos of mine i will update that soon also anyways i have selected false which is an exact match close the bracket and there we go when i drag this uh, i've got the answer there are three kinds of output that you will get first one you will get the answer like the phone numbers you have got another is hash na which is a function error which indicates that this name that is jessica is not there in the master data so i have not got any result another output uh, another sort kind of output that will get is like in front of bhagwan the phone number is there uh, i have simply delete the phone number so you will be able to see zero over here uh um, that indicates that you have got the match but in the output cell there is nothing yeah. now uh another aspect of it we need to understand that if i'm going to drag it in this particular column i will not have the answer there are two problem first one here you can see the lookup value is b2 but here the lookup value has changed to c2 we should not happen uh second uh here the column index number is 2 high what this is in the column number 3 so it has to be 3 which is also not the case so what need to be done so for that um th there's a trick of course for that uh, but right now i'm going to tell you a trick through that you will be able to get the like the value of all the columns in a single go so how to do that for that do the selection like this means the complete column it is very compulsory in the master data also the column has to be in the same sequence uh if they are not in the same sequence then this will not happen is there any solution to that if uh, they are not in sequence yes of course there is a solution to everything uh um, but let's focus on the current task so what what i'm doing means in the initial stage means i will have to type the we look up only we look up as a look up value i have selected this particular cell which containing uh, which contains a name which i am looking for in the master data then table array uh i went to this particular um, master data i have select the complete table similar means uh, uh in the like last section also i was doing the same thing now this is an array function so what are comma column index number column index number is not a single column number there are plenty of columns that i have selected if you have uh, noticed that so as a column index number i need to give all the column numbers and that will be an array so whenever you are starting an array you will have to put curly bracket and then i am typing all the column number that is 2 3 4 5 6 up till 6 close the curly bracket um comma and then definitely i am looking for an exact match i have selected that bracket close don't press enter i am repeating it once again don't press enter you need to press control shift you need to press control shift and then enter so there we go we have got this answer drag it you will have the answer because this is an array you can't change a part of it let's say if i'm here and if i want to delete it you can't do that if you are going to delete it you will have to delete at once in a single go means the complete data you will have to delete it in a single go and uh, this is it and uh, in we lookup it's a very very important function there are plenty of things into it so keep looking i will update more and more videos on we lookup in order to uh, take care of all sorts of problem uh, thank you for watching have a nice day